Hey guys, I'm going to give you some kind of basic tips for preparing for a trip. So buckle up and follow me. So I feel like the first thing is to decide on your dates. So if you're not very flexible with work, uh, you don't have a lot of availability for a trip, you obviously have less options, but still, we're going to uh, talk about that maybe a little later. But yeah, people who are flexible can find great prices, uh, great deals on flights, hotels, everything. So pick your dates. You definitely need to do a research on best time to visit uh, the area you're going if you already know where you're going uh, best time to visit would be when um, the weather is good and preferably not a high season and not when it's too crowded because trust me you don't want that create a budget for your trip I personally don't do that because I'm so bad at it but I think it's a very logical thing to do so create a budget and that would be mostly for um, transformation and accommodations foods activities which are often the most expensive parts and uh, just souvenirs and shopping if you choose to do any book your flights or other transportation options in advance because if you don't do so you're gonna miss in a lot of great deals um, I can't tell you even how many times this happens to me how many times I did not book on time and I ended up paying a lot more so that's very important that's very important another very important thing pack up of good clothing, medications, toiletries, any personal items you're taking with you, um, basically any, uh, any necessary supplies for your trip, um, your documents and the copies, uh, passport, ID, uh, travel insurance, hotels, reservations for hotels and stuff, and um, visas and things like that. Uh, one thing that Mark and I do that I find that really, really helpful, really smart, and I highly recommend is to have a list, long list of items that you have to take with you, that you need to take with you on a trip. Uh, we have one list for road trip and one for flying. Before we are going on a trip, when we're almost packed, we check the list, we read the list. And we basically make sure that we pack all the items in the list. I really find this really, really helpful and like you have no idea. It's, it's very smart. I highly recommend doing this. <laughs> in some countries, you need to notify your bank and your credit companies before heading uh, to your trip because uh, if you don't and if they don't know your travel plans and they don't know your, when you're going it's possible that they block your card if it's being used in another country let's say you're in america and this card is being used and um there's some type of payment transactions in south africa let's say and the bank would be like okay this person lives in america so why is this card being used in africa so maybe sometime, something might be wrong. So to prevent any issues with your account, I highly recommend to notify your bank of your travel plans in advance. The last step that I want to talk to you about is to basically double check your checking list, which we talked about, and um, you know just ensure you have all the right information, your flight departure time which is the most important thing uh, trust me I have an experience and uh, yeah just to make sure you are going to have a nice comfortable enjoyable trip okay guys thank you for listening to me for giving me a little 
your time I appreciate it and just feel free to let me know if you have any question and questions or you want me to give you any more tip and yes I'm here to help so thank you and have a great day